Hi. Two ways of expanding or using the pentatonic scale, because that's where most people start, right? We know that we get that pentatonic scale into our fingers, and then the next question is really, once we're a little bit tired of only using five notes, how can we expand that? And of course, we can use the blue note uh, on top of that. But there are really, the, f the next level I went to uh, was to use it in two different contexts. And those two different contexts are really melodic rock and just rock. And, and when I say rock, I mean blues scale based rock. And um, ACDC is a very good example of a band that nearly only uses blues scale based uh, rock uh, because that's riff based. And all those riffs are based on the uh, blues scale. So let's say we're an E and we, we would have a riff like. You know, that, that, that type of rock or. You know, stuff like that. Uh, what we're really doing here is basically playing power chords on top of each note of the blues scale. So, and that's how we build our riffs, basically. So it, it, if it's in the key of E, we would go... Oh, sorry. Right? And, and just build power chords or uh, chords that has the root note and then the fifth in them. And that's the one part, and that, 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 that works just like the blues, actually. We use the... We use the blue scale on top of that, of course. So if we're in the key of E, we use the E blue scale. Uh, I hope you're with me on that. And then we can expand that, and that's the first key here. We can expand that with the Dorian minor, which is basically another way of saying that if we're in the key of E, we're playing um, a D major scale, and that is one whole step below the E. If this is E in the 12th fret here on the E string, you play a D major scale on top of that E blue scale. And if you take a piece of paper and you write out your, your E uh, minor pentatonic with the blue note added, and then you sit down and write on top of that the notes of the D major scale, and then you play the whole thing from the from the bottom there and include all the notes, it will sound something like this. That was a scale with eight notes in it because I included the blue note there. And so we are not adding a lot of notes because a lot of the notes are completely identical. So what we really do is add two notes to the to the five note uh, blue scale. We have those two notes added to it, and that's it. But that's a that's an important addition here. And let me just uh, show you how that sounds. So, but that would be again over a chord progression that is basically a riff or that is blues based. So let me just uh, see if I can. That's just something like that, right? Here we go. So this would be the. That's just clean blue scale. Right? And then we can add the Dorian notes. But as you can hear, those are a little bit out, or so they sound. So we use them as passing notes, or we bend up from them. We do not rest on them for a long period of time. So I might... Back in the blue scale. I can take that, that ninth there. Bend it up to the blue, to the pentatonic note, or make a run where I just play all the notes. You know, so if they come far, the faster they come, the less it means. The less each individual note actually means to the to the sound. But when we rest on notes, it's always the notes of the blues scale. So that's a very cool way of expanding your blues scale when you're playing over rock riffs. The second realm is the melodic rock realm. And here we start using that whole uh, universe of major and minor, of uh, playing, you know, uh, a song. Uh, and that might be a s song in major or minor. This is minor. 
so that would be the realm of, of all the courts being built from the, from the major scale or the minor scale. And that's a totally different uh, uh, thing here. So let's just play uh, a, a chord progression in A minor. And this is just totally outside of the blues realm. And you can hear the sound as well. This would be A blues. Right? That's a riff in A blues. I'm just building it on the root, on the notes of the A blues scale with power chords on top of them. And then here's a chord progression. With real chords, with three notes in them. D minor, and it all comes or are derived from the A minor scale. So I can play all kinds of chords here. So A minor. C major. So that's a, that's another sound, and for that purpose, I'm building, I'm adding another scale to the uh, minor pentatonic. And in this case, I'm not going for that whole tone or whole step below. Before I was, I, I said, okay, if I want to play uh, a song, a blues-based song in A, and I want to expand that using the major scale, I can go down one whole step from the root note, which is A, down to G. We're just going to do it in A instead of E. And then I can play the major scale there. And if I take those notes, put them on top of my uh, minor pentatonic, I get this sound. But I'm still focusing on the notes of the pentatonic scale because those sound really good. And the other ones are really cool to use as passing tones. to bend up from. Right? Uh, but we do not rest on them for extended period of time. But instead of doing that, instead of going down a whole step, uh, as we did in the blues realm, we simply go up one minor third, which means that is three frets from the root note there, up to the uh, root note of C. So I play a C major scale on top of that A minor pentatonic. Another way of saying that is just to play an A natural minor scale on top of your A minor pentatonic or A blues scale. It's the same thing. But just to stay in the major realm, and please look up on the music theory, but basically it's what I say here. Instead of going down one whole tone and playing the major scale there, we go up one minor third and play the major scale there. And if you place that on top of the A minor pentatonic, you get something that sounds like this. And if you sit down with a piece of paper and you draw it out, little dots on a piece of paper, then you'll quickly realize that the only difference between those two realms, the rock and the melodic rock, is one note. And let's just say you're playing in the first position minor blues scale. Yeah, just included the blue note there in the end. Um, then on your B string, right, you have that minor third there, or three frets, two notes, three frets apart. In the uh, Dorian minor, we had the note placed just before the pinky. In the And that was for the blues rock, the brock braced. But for the... For the other round, the melodic rock round, we have the note placed, the extra note there, placed closer to the first finger. So those are either there or there. So let me just play a little chord progression just uh, using the A minor pentatonic with the A minor scale, natural minor scale. Oh, another word for that same scale is the C major scale. Same scale, two different names. Uh, let me just play a little chord progression in A minor. I have that running now, and this, these are random chords from the A minor scale, right? And so I can use my A minor pentatonic over there. Right? And I can also use that C major slash A minor scale. that differs from the Dorian minor. And I 
keep my emphasis on the notes of that and I you know, on that minor pentatonic and I can also use the blue note here right and get that bluesy sound now if I start playing I uh, start using the G major scale which is one whole tone below the root note of A which was the the, the little recipe we had uh, for rock blue space rock if I use that combination and hit that note then it's going to sound pretty uh, jazzy to say the least so let me oh I have to record a new chord progression here so let's just do it again rock thing. Oh! And this is a sure sign that you're not using the right pentatonic major scale combination. And so what I did in the beginning was I thought, okay, if I can listen for the right uh, key here, right? If I can find the right key and place my first position minor pentatonic shape on the right place of the neck, then, I, okay, I have it, I have the key now. Then the second step, so, so if I was playing, let's just take another key here, if I was like, uh... If I can then... No, that doesn't sound right. No, that doesn't sound right. No, no. Oh, that might work. Where am I? Right? So I just searched and probed to find something that fit with that first position uh, minor scale, but then I started adding the other notes, and I just assumed that, okay, let's assume that this is uh, blues rock, uh, the first category there, and I would mix it in with the major scale one whole tone down. Whoa! And as soon as I hit that note on the B string with my third finger, uh, then it sounded awful, and then I know for sure that I'm, I have to use the natural minor, not the Dorian minor. Ah, and then I'm home. So it's two steps. for the other round let's let's do something in, in blues rock uh, let's do it in a uh, like before then we have that running there and I'm searching and probing uh, uh, uh. oh this works where are we okay let's assume this is a minor it was so now we know it's a minor that A minor pentatonic fits. So let's test out using uh, the, the the natural minor scale, which is one the major, really the major scale, one third minor third above the root note, right? So. It sounds like I'm playing another song than the track. So that doesn't work, so I was just trying the Dorian instead, the major scale one whole step below the root note. This is not a very good track for the example here, but... Because I'm resting a lot on the blue note, uh, chord of the scale but that's th that's that's the way I figured out what uh what the whole song was in, you know, I found the key, then I found the what what pentatonic major scale combination do I need to use. And the same thing goes for major. You have that rock realm, which is always the blues scale, and then for the melodic rock, you have both major and minor, but the same thing goes there. So let me play a random chord progression in C major. <laughs> C major, I did the same thing, take the same minor pentatonic. No, no, no. Yeah, that 
seems to fit, right? So, so I use the A minor pentatonic to play over a chord progression in C major. So that's just a minor third below the major. Okay, let me now mix that with the Dorian minor. Whoa, ho, ho, that's a Dorian note again. Sounds like, right? So that's not a good idea. Let me mix it with um, the natural minor, which is the major scale, one, one minor third above the root note of the A minor here. So, oh, that's good. So now I have the minor pentatonic. So I did this for quite a lot of time, uh, a long time where I, these were the, were the tools I used. And to be frank, there's a lot of musicians out there in the, in the stars of rock and pop who never get beyond these tools. So these are really, really powerful. And you don't really need other tools than that. Uh, you don't need to navigate in, if you're in the style of pop, pop, rock, whatever, progressive. Um, so this is a really powerful little bundle of tools. And I hope you understood everything I said here. If not, then look up the theoretical perspectives. You know, look at it on the fretboard. Uh, watch some other videos and then come back here and see how much you understand then. Because that's really the way to get clarity. So. I hope this was val valuable to you and I hope to see you in another video.